There's an increasing argument used across the United States that all women need is a gender responsive jail. But gender responsive is not gender justice. Gender justice means that we have resources in our communities to heal from trauma, to address domestic violence in a way that doesn't further criminalize and separate our families, to have the access to treatment and health care that's needed, to have youth development programs and after school programs for our children, to have full access to daycare, to address harms in our community through ways that are transformative as opposed to punitive. So this new jail in Mira Loma will tear families apart. We always talk about the family reunification process, but this will break the family reunification process. Um, I did six years in Valley State Prison for women and only 100 women out of 4,000 got visits. That's a problem. By moving women an hour and a half away, that will break whatever relationship that they do have with their children. Women come home not knowing their children, their children don't know them, and it's heartbreaking. The black and Latino women I know that got locked up in my neighborhood got locked up because like they're busting checks, they're, they're trying to like survive. It's the only option in our neighborhoods, you know. Uh, it's not a lot of resources, it's not a lot of jobs in our neighborhoods, so when you have these women trying to make money and make ends meet the best way they can, they get criminalized for it and get taken to jail. We know that that money could better be utilized for alternatives and diversion uh, programs and services in our communities that women can benefit from. Right now, people in women's jails are not given any real opportunities for diversion and alternatives. There are only four programs that we know of that are only impacting 150 women out of the over 5,000 women that cycle in and out of the system every year. $120 million could be used for housing, mental health services, family reunification programs, and the list goes on of what the people in Alley County's women's jails actually need, and it's not another jail. The environmental review of the proposed construction of a new women's jail in Lancaster is severely inadequate in addressing sufficient water supply and potability, hazardous waste disposal, and potential toxic chemical exposure, and air quality concerns, including the real threat of valley fever as a public health risk. If they build this new jail at Mira Loma, it will definitely violate the fundamental rights of incarcerated people, increase public health risks, deplete local resources, and cause irreversible environmental degradation.